Last week's Adobe Max was fabulous, as usual, and they released a 2.0 version of Illustrator on the iPad. So after playing around with some of the updates, here are five new features that I'm most excited about and also think are most relevant for designers using Illustrator for fashion design. When I did this first video on flat sketching on the iPad, one of the things I had to work around was not being able to drag a center front guide. I had to use the grid, which I'm not a fan of. But now Adobe has added rulers, which is awesome. Just turn them on and like you would on the desktop, drag a guide onto the artboard to mark center front. I was actually just showing one of my FIT classes how to use the blend tool. And now I can show you how to do this on the iPad. To use blend, you need to select two objects. So I'm going to use these two lines and add a width profile to each to indicate the crystal pleat creases. And then choose blend. What's cool about this is you can use the widget on the side of the blend to increase or decrease the number of objects within the blend. I wish you could manually type in the number of objects you want it like you can on the desktop, but for now, I'm just happy the feature is available. A lot of people were really disappointed that Adobe released Illustrator on the iPad without brushes, but they finally added them. No pattern brushes yet, unfortunately, which is like our staple as a fashion designer, but you can create art and calligraphic brushes, which I do occasionally use. So here's how to create them. Create your artwork that you want to turn into a brush. Select it and go to the paintbrush tool. The default tool is the pencil, but the paintbrush is docked with it. When the options open, choose paintbrush if it's not already selected, and then tap the plus at the bottom of the panel and choose new art brush. Name the brush, choose a scale option, choose the direction and choose a colorization method. Then tap save brush. To use the brush, draw a line, open the properties panel, tap the brushes icon and tap the new brush to apply it. And for this brush, since I set the colorization method to hue shift, I can change the color of the brush by changing the stroke color. For those of us who use a similar function on the desktop app, we know this as image trace. So pretty cool that they're introducing it onto the iPad version as well. It's called vectorize on the iPad and it's still in the testing phase, but it feels like it's off to a good start. I'm especially happy to see that many of the output controls that are on the desktop app are also here, so you really can customize and get the best vector output possible. The eyeball at the top of the panel allows you to toggle between the original and your vector result. And once you're happy with the result, choose Expand Vectorization to convert the image's edges to vectors. I talked about Adobe Capture in this video and how helpful it can be to create color palettes. And the iPad just took it one step further by allowing you to add your captured colors directly to your swatches panel. All you do is tap the fill or stroke circle and aim your camera at whatever you want to take your colors from. The little circles capture the main colors from the photo. And what I also like about this compared to the Adobe Capture app is that you can choose more than just five colors from the photo. There's also some other updates like tools to allow designers to easily collaborate and the ability to add linked files. 
I wasn't as excited about the updates that were made for the desktop version. They were cool, but I don't know if they were helpful updates for a fashion designer using Illustrator. But overall, I'm excited to keep using the program and really excited to do more on my iPad. Thanks for watching today's video. Check out the links in the description to take my Illustrator for Fashion class or for private tutoring to learn to use Illustrator most effectively as a fashion designer. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.